Good afternoon, children. I am Jyoti. I am taking you. I am your maths miss. These are the maths textbooks for you. Here is volume one. This is the companion book. Okay. Now we will start with volume one, maths. So here we have a blank space given to you. What you should do there? Create a pattern with your favorite colors. So you can take any of your favorite colors and do a drawing and color it. Okay. Now today we will start lesson number one. That is long and short. Lesson number one. L O N G long and S H O R T short. Shall we read it once again? L O N G long and S H O R T short. Okay. Here is a and here is an activity for you. Shall I read? Sheetal and Komal are eating sugar cake. She is Sheetal, she is Komal. What they are doing? They are eating sugar cake. So, connect the dots to see how much sugar cake they have eaten. So, here is a picture for you. What you should do? Here are the dots. It is common. What you should do, you can see the dots here. Take a pencil and join the dots. Now, who has eaten more sugar cane? Who has eaten more sugar cane? Is it Sheetal or Komal? Yes. Komal. K-O-M-A-L. We can tell who has eaten more by looking at the dotted parts of the sugar cane. By looking at the dotted parts, we can tell that Komal has eaten more sugar cane. The dotted part gives us the length of the sugar cane eaten by Sheetal and Komal. What this dotted line tells us? This tells us the length of the sugar cane. What the dotted line tells us? It tells the length of the sugar cane. Now we will go to second page. Here is one more activity for you. That is 1.2. Activity 1.2. In each picture, draw along the dotted lines to help the ant and the squirrel reach their food. Here is the slide. And here is the food. Here is squirrel and here are nuts. Here is an ant. Here is a piece of cake. So you should take a pencil and join the dots. Now the squirrel has walked the length of the slide to reach the nuts. 
the ant has walked the length of the foot to reach the cake so what squirrel has done it has walked the length of the slide and the ant has walked the length of the foot so the length of an object tells us how far one of the end is from the other so now we should learn what is length l e n g e h what is length here already we have done the activity so i will show you some more examples to understand the meaning of length shall i show you see it is the pencil okay he the pencil have two ends one is this another is this the pencil have two ends from here to here in between this space is its length between the two ends the space is its length one more example scale okay this is the scale it is also having two ends one is this the other is this so this is an end this is also an end from this end to this end in between this space is the length of the scale length of the scale over now i want to show you some objects it is the scale here is the end of the scale and the other is this from here to here this is the length of the scale this is the pencil it is also having two ends this is one and the other one is this from here to here in between this space is the length of the pencil this is the pen it is also having two ends from here to here this between space is the length of the pen now we have got the idea about length now here we can see two pictures first one is crayon and the other one is pencil shall i draw this this is the crayon this is the pencil is there in your textbook look at the following pictures you should look at these two pictures the pencil is longer than the crayon we can also say that the crayon is shorter than the pencil what is what do you want to say here so the pencil is longer than the crayon the crayon is shorter than the pencil which is the longer object here yes it is the pencil pencil is the longer object and the crayon is the shorter object can i show you some more objects here yes 
I have a scale and I have a pencil. So, if I compare these two objects, which one is longer? Yes, the scale is longer than the pencil. The pencil is shorter than the scale. Now, we will go to this picture. We will go to the next picture that is about two crayons. Okay. The two crayons are equal in length. The two crayons are equal. E Q U A L. Can you observe this the length of two crayons? Yes. How they are? They are in equal length. What is equal spelling? E Q U A L. Two crayons are equal in length. For this, I want to show you two sketch pens. See children. See, if I hold together, which one is longer, which one is shorter? No. Both are in equal length. The both sketch pens have equal length. This is the equal length. Now, we will come to page number 3. Page number 3. Here is, here is also pictures. This is the crayon. This is an ice cream tray. And the last one is pencil. How many objects are here? Here we have three objects. First one is crayon, an ice cream stick and the last one is pencil. Now, by looking these three objects here, we should fill up this, the above boxes. That is, tick or cross. Here, first one, the crayon is longer than the Pencil. What is the statement here? The crayon is longer than the pencil. What they are saying you? The crayon is longer than the pencil. So you should observe only these two objects. The crayon is longer than the pencil. Is it right? No. So the first box is wrong. Second statement. The two pencils are equal in length. Where are the two pencils? Here. In the page number 2 and in the page number 3. The two pencils are equal in length. Yes, it is the correct statement. Third one. The ice cream stick is longer than the crayon. The ice cream stick is longer than the then the crayon. Is it correct? Yes. Last one. The pencil is longer than the ice cream stick. The pencil is longer than the ice cream stick. It is also correct. We see that the pencil is longer than the ice cream stick. We see that pencil is longer than the ice cream stick.
the ice cream stick is longer than the crayon the ice cream stick is longer than the crayon pencil is longer than the ice cream stick ice cream stick is longer than the crayon so he said that the pencil is the longest and the crayon is the shortest so finally we will tell that pencil is the longest and the crayon is the shortest to compare length of more than two objects we use the words longest and shortest to compare more than two objects we use the words longest and shortest when do we use these words when we are comparing more than two objects then only we should use these words longest and shortest now we will go to page number 4 in the page number 4 they are they are set of materials or objects by seeing those you should write true or false one point five one point five first one Look at the given pictures and write whether the statements are true or false. First one. Here is the crayon. Yellow color. Next pen. Here is the here is the pencil. can you see this here yes what is the statement written here the pen is longer than the crayon Here is the space given to you to write the answer. Okay, the pen is longer than the crayon. The pen is longer than the crayon. Here, though we have three objects, but we should compare only two objects. That is pen and the crayon. The pen is longer than the crayon. Is it true? Yes. So what is true spelling? P R U E. True. Now, shall we go to second picture? Here are three pictures. Safety pin. drum stick chalk paste chalk paste the statement is the drum stick is longer than the pen the piece of chalk you should read the statement clearly the drum stick is longer than the piece of chalk where is the drum drum stick here yes it is here the drum stick is longer than the chalk piece it is true 
P R U E trio. The drumstick is longer than the piece of chalk. Trio. See, we can see here the drumstick is longer than the chalk piece. Now we go to third one. Here is the toothbrush. It is the shoelace. It is the comb. The cone is shorter than the toothbrush. Okay. The comb, where is the comb? Here. The comb is shorter than the toothbrush. The comb is shorter than the toothbrush. No, it is false because the comb is longer. F A L S E. False. Okay. Now, I will repeat page number 1 to page number 4 once again. We have started the lesson number 1. Long and short. In the page number 1, what we have done here, she is the sheetal and she is the comal. We have placed the dotted line to see who has eaten more sugar cane. And we have written the answer comal by seeing the dotted line. After that, we have learned the Meaning of the word length. What is the length? Length is length is the space between the two ends, two ends of an object. Length is the between space of the two ends of an object. Here is this is the length of the pencil. Here is the end and here is the end of the pencil. In between this space is its length. Oh, next. This is the scale. Where is the length of the scale? Here. In between two ends of an object, the space between this is its length. Now, we have learnt the word longer and shorter. We have learnt the words Longer. L O N G E R. Longer. S H O R T E R. Shorter. 
when we use these two words we should compare two objects for example pencil and crayon which one is longer this one is longer this one is shorter next we learn the word e q u a l equal when the length of two objects having equal length we can tell that both are having equal length and longest shortest when we compare more than two objects we use the word longest and shortest now i want you to give the home fun children what is your home fun it is the multiplication table 0 1 the 0 0 2 the 0 Zero three is a zero. Zero four is a zero. Zero five is a zero. Zero six is a zero. Zero seven is a zero. Zero eight is a zero. Zero nine is a zero. Zero ten is a zero. One one is a one. One two is a two. One three is a three. One four is a four. One five is a five. One six is a six. One seven is a seven. One eight is a eight. One nine is a nine. One ten is a ten. Both the tables you have to write five times each and memorize. Okay. Thank you, children. We'll continue the maths period next session.